This is a uh, Ricky Cespedes, and I just wanted to talk. Uh, this is my first time using the computer, and uh, <laughs> I can actually, it's pretty cool. A new, and this is a new laptop. And I, I just wanted to, uh, my first talk about uh, si science and, and fashion, you know, knowledge and fashion. Like, uh, um, I wanted to say that I believe that, that sadly, art, artistry that doesn't involve a lot of concrete science is just a waste of time and it's very f frivolous. It's very, uh, it's just a waste of time. You know, in music and movies, like all they do is just, you know, use their imagination, put shit together, write it on a piece of paper, and they just kind of clunk it together and use CGI and all this stuff. But there's no written, written scientific quotations or anything like that that equals what they're doing. You know, there's no goal involved. It's just a bunch of frivolous designs, and uh, you know, it's just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. You know, like it's all, it, it's all been basically done. And the reason why you know art and science, uh, not uh, art and fashion and music and movies have hit the wall and run out of ideas, is because, you know, I mean, how long can you carry on creating images, images on a TV screen or a theater screen? How long can you carry that? How long can you, can you, be, because when you film something. You're always going to film something that's similar to another movie, whether it's something that's in the background or something to a certain type of a car by accident, carry, uh, film a building, film the sun, film the sky, film the floor. Everything is always going to be redundantly used. And that's just in the simplistic form because back in the day when they used to film, they would, uh, they would just, uh, when, when they're developing and creating the, uh, the, the um you know the the cameras to capture images the very simple images just testing you know testing the images back in the back in the uh the early ni uh 1900s you know the the, the, the they were just kind of testing it they were just working with it and so they would just take films of objects and people walking and things like that and so like when you try to when people try to create scripts, they try to make stories more complex and all this stuff. No matter what you do, images are always limited because you have to create new images that have not been seen. And in, and in, and and the the downfall for movies is that in order to tell a story, you have to tell an image that's recognizable that people can relate to. And when you keep on doing that since the 70s and since the 80s and the 90s. In the early 2000s, you keep on, you keep on following the formula in order to get people to like. Okay, this is a human story. Okay, they're in a city. Okay, uh, some guy's chasing a woman with a knife. Oh, okay, okay. Those simple things they're gonna get run down because you always have to reintroduce uh, a little aspect of the regular and then put something else on top, which is a little bit of dialogue and all that. And so, like, you can only do that for so long before the story. The stories and people catch on and all that you know music too you can only do so much with with the uh, patterns and sounds before you know it becomes redundant and heard you know like dubstep is one example that like it's just random screwed up mixed chopped up sounds and that right there is a sign that we just don't know what the hell to do anymore we don't know what the hell to do all we do is just splice things together and make the music and make it all choppy and and speed up the our voices to sound like chick monks with it and all that stuff. It doesn't even you know it's, it's music is dead. You know movies are dead. But all we can do you know is just is just to you know just to go and enjoy what's there. You know and try to live our lives as best we can. But but the thing is though is that entertainment, which is fashion, which is music, hairstyles, all this stuff, it's all dead. It's all it's hit the wall and it's never gonna recover. The best stuff has already been done. The best, the best way to describe something, the best way to see or hear something, music or movies or anything, has been done. Hairstyles, there's no, there's no new hairstyles. You know, there's nothing new. You know, and so like the only thing that's concrete is science and mathematics. It's the only thing. You know, like.
that's the only thing that's going to hold true to anything and and the sad truth is, is that you know well we have to stick to science and push away from frivolous childish uh, adventures and plus anyways when Steven Spielberg passes away m movies to me movies are gonna die when Steven Spielberg dies when he dies movies are dead and I remember back in the year 2000 2013 I, I was just thinking to myself you know when, when Michael Jackson dies that's it like you know like I'm not gonna buy no more music I'm not gonna buy no more albums when Michael Jackson dies music dies for me and I, and I knew and, and, I, and, I, and I knew that and then now in and even before his death I never really bought music that much you know the music my era was the 90s and, the, and and throughout the 80s and stuff you know and now music is just like there's really no point to have music anymore you know there's no point to even have uh, there, there's no point for for people to to have uh, reviews for music because no matter what the companies are going to shove the music down their throats and we're going to be having to digest it and dance in the damn clubs and we're just going to have to get used to it. There's no point to reviews. Reviews were there when when they mattered back in the 90s and 80s and 70s when people would really say, don't listen to this, it doesn't sound good, he's not good. And it would hurt the person. But now, regardless if it's good or bad, people they're going to make money no matter what. That's how the industry is now. So, you know... That's basically all I have to say. You know, just go home, get an education, and be and be the next Einstein. You know, do something good. Because man, you can make a movie, you can make fashion, you can make music, but and you'll you'll be remembered for a couple of decades and years. But when you're when you're a scientist and you do something that's mathematical a discovery or something you're gonna be remembered forever and that those implications are gonna send shock waves throughout the world and the universe it's more dramatic and more drastic than just a, a song or clothing or something like that you know get an education you know get an education and better yourself being educated humbles oneself it humbles a person makes you better makes you more patient makes you makes you more understanding of your environment you know, and, you know, well, I guess that's basically all I have to say, you know, get education, you know, you know, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing to say, any, there's nothing even to even say anything about music entertainment, it's gone, it's dead, it's buried, and the only thing left for the human race is just to let go of pop culture and find themselves and become educated and become humble and learn. That's all there is. We should go into an era where we where we where we just kinda sit at home, learn, learn to breathe, learn to be patient with each other. The future should be a new future, not of rushing, but of just being patient and loving yourself, loving other people, giving people space and respect, and learning and being educated, sleeping, eating, being comfortable, being kind, being slow learning to to be with yourself you know that should be the future learn to be with yourself and then as time pass you'll find somebody but in the same link as you same rhythm you know that's all that we have left that's all thank you very much that's my first